Hello there, YouTubers. This is Race Bring You yet another. Wait, I can't say LP in this one. I have to say a uh, instructional video because that's what this is. Now, if you have a laptop out there, you've probably encountered a pretty crappy issue. It's called plugged in not charging. This usually happens on Windows 7 or Windows Vista type users. Uh, it has happened in XP in a couple situations, but it doesn't happen very often. Now. I'm going to give you a general fix since I haven't really seen any YouTube videos out there that have pointed out the specific way I wanted to do it. Uh, they also usually don't use their voices, which to me that seems kind of dumb. Okay, Nobody wants to read text, they want to hear someone else talking about it. So this is what I think you need to do. This is what's personally worked for me and I'm going to tell you the exact ways I've done it. I'm going to tell you probably two other ways that you can fix it as well. Um, because those two ways didn't work for me but they may work for you. Okay. As you can tell, I'm running an Alienware uh, computer. This is M15X, and I usually have no issues out of it whatsoever, but earlier this morning, I did encounter the issue with plugged in not charging. I went through several different solutions that I thought would work, and none of them seemed to work. So what I did, and this is my first solution to you, okay? What I would do is, if your battery say is at the critical position where it's 5% or lower, you can't really afford to let your battery die on you. So what you need to do is you need to close out every application, but probably the YouTube video or whatever you're using right now. Or if you have a secondary computer, that'd be awesome. What you need to do is hit restart on your computer. Okay? As it's restarting, unplug the AC adapter. Not from the computer. Unplug it from the wall unit or the power supply unit, whatever you have. Okay, the power adapter, anything. If it's plugged into a power adapter, unplug it. Okay, make sure it goes off. So whenever your computer's restarting, it should have more than enough time to recognize that, hey, it's not there. So when you restart it, you're probably going to have an issue come up saying, um, you know, battery's critically low, 5% or lower, hit F1 to resume. That's usually how it works on mine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of battling cold here. Anyway, so what you need to do is hit F1 to resume. As soon as you log in and you see that little battery icon in the bottom right hand side of your screen, if that's where it is, come up, plug it back in. Okay? It should resume charging. And it should say plugged in charging. That's how I fix the issues on my computer. And every time it's worked. Okay? And it's happened more than once. But today was a more than frustrating occurrence because I woke up at like five this morning and knocked out the <laughs> the uh, AC adapter and yeah it woke me up again at like 6 saying hey you're at 5% battery power so yeah I had to fix that and here's another issue okay what you want to do is you want to go to your start menu and type in device manager okay once you type in device manager go into your battery options you should see uh, several different or well there should be a little drop down thing for batteries Okay, you're going to see probably two things. One of them that says AC adapter, the other one says AXIP or something to that general effect. There, I can't remember exactly what it's called. But um, matter of fact, if you give me two seconds, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, device manager. All right, so it comes up, and I'll move this into the screen so that you can actually see. All right, so you have batteries. It's ACPI. And what you want to do is you want to right click it and click uninstall. Okay, I'm not going to do it since mine's already perfectly working. There's no point in doing it. But you click uninstall and you click OK after it comes up. Okay, so it'll disappear. Then what you need to do is you need to exit that out. Okay, leave your AC adapter plugged in and carefully unplug your battery. Okay, take it out. Leave it out for about a minute, minute and a half. Let it cool down if it's hot. Okay, once it's cooled down reinsert it okay then go back to the device manager again and there's gonna be a button at the top that says action and you're gonna click scan for new hardware or scan for new hardware changes and the AC or ASCP will come back up again just like it was never gone and the battery icon should come back at the bottom now people have said that that's worked for them okay that's a possibility of a solution there and the third possible solution that I'm gonna give you okay it has nothing to do with your AC adapter. It has nothing to do with your battery uh, being replaced. Okay, they should be fine, especially if it's a rather new computer within a year's old. Like, if, I can understand if it was more than two or three years old and the battery's dying on it. But 
in this situation, most likely it's going to be not either one of them. That's just a bug with Vista or 7. It's something that Microsoft has yet to fix, and I doubt they will. Um, so what you, you want to try, okay, is unplug your battery, unplug your AC adapter, unplug it from the, uh, the wall or the unit that you have it plugged into, and once all of that's completed, let your computer set for about five minutes. Okay, this gives it time to get rid of all the other processes it has. Because even when it goes off, it still processes several different things. Okay, so once all the backup power is gone out of it, that's basically what we call a hard reset. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to let it reset itself. Then after that, plug your battery back in. Start it up. Do not plug your AC adapter back in. I mean, you can not plug it back into the wall at this point, but don't plug it back into your computer. Once it's started up, just like in step one, once you're in there, plug in your battery, uh, your AC adapter battery cable again. Once that happens, it should start working. Okay? And if none of that's worked, then it may be an issue with your AC adapter. If this video has helped you at all, please like to subscribe. Uh, you know, I would really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to me ramble on and ramble about. I hope this helped. Have fun.